Hi everybody, welcome back to Andrew Channel International. Today we play some more Humankind. We are now facing the beginning, uh, not really the beginning, the end of the industrial era. Um, I think we will see the beginning of the last era, the modern era, the contemporary era, probably by mid of this, uh, of this uh, episode. And as you know, my tactic so far has been just capitalize and, and try to use as much as I can a sort of snowball effect using all the uh, privileged position that I built in time, having two continents, having a lot of production, a lot of food. So Harappa can build the Topkapi, Topkapi Palace, which is going to give us uh, also another big help when we try to build common projects, um, we have to try to win as many scientific stars as possible before entering in the contemporary era. And that's what I'm going to do. Propeller research. I think, uh, speaking about uh, technology, I think that I will not uh, update my army. I am not considering going into war or open a conflict with any other culture in game. First, they are extremely weak compared to us, so we can absolutely defend ourselves. Look at this, for example, I have 43,000 gold saved in my, in my pocket, and I can start updating my army and move it to a sort of industrial army. As you can see, I Wait a minute, I forgot here to put together all my guys. Yes, we, we, we invested all our money, but look at this. This army, I mean, would be devastating if we consider invading any other country, but I don't want to do that, honestly speaking. Okay, we missed the call, otherwise we would be able also to upgrade our fleet, which is fine. We can live with that. And I think that that's it, because I don't have any other 10,000 to upgrade all my armies. Let's get started, let's see what we are going to do. As you know, I gave the order to many of my cities. I gave the order to bid everything, so I want to, my cities to have all the improvements. And now I can also slowly get some more... Oh, that, that could be good. That would give me more stability here, it could give me more influence. Yeah, let's skip to the more stability. And here we can go towards... No, I, I need to stick to the production. All right. And turn. And now we have the mechanization, so we will be able to build also sawmills. Um, what I, I am not 100% sure is why I do not have coal Actually, if I take Mohei Nodaro, I would have called, but I think that I just didn't work it. That's the issue. That's the issue. So, I probably have called everywhere, was in person. But I just didn't consider building any mine yet, because when I had the chance, probably, it was too, it was too late, because I already given all these very, very long uh, production queues, and, and, I, and I forgot them. <clears throat> but we will, we will get, we will get there. We will get there. Perfect. All right. Revenge of the Pharaohs. Prosperous, superstitious. Talking about how much uh, science we do, we have eight thousand two hundred fifty-three scientific points per turn. Now eight thousand three hundred, almost clean. Almost sharp. And we research the microbiology, which is also giving us a lot of very, very good bonuses. And the Agrarian Star is unlocked. Let me check. We still have uh, Merchant Stars. We have Military Stars that we are not going to unlock. I have never, ever worked the Diplomat Stars. But as you can see, it was not a big problem. I am going to research all the possible technologies before moving into the contemporary era. That's what I'm going to do. 
And by the way, I can now turn Harappa into a special um, mode, collective minds, so that uh, our scientific our our scientific development will increase even more. So now we have uh, ten thousand four hundred science. And we can basically build our wonder without having the capital building. Cool. We can uh, now uh, claim a new wonder. The Palace of Versailles is still to, uh, is still to be claimed. I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to claim Versailles. And I, I, I think I will build it really in, uh, in the new world. Burusa should uh, build Versailles. What he's going to do, I think I showed you the mouse over, but I'm going to comment it uh, just a little bit. The leverage action cost for the owner is discounted by 20%, and we have a 20% leverage action cost for all other empires, plus stability, plus fame, plus 50 science, due to our religion. Okay, it seems that Lothal built all the structures that I asked. I'm very happy about that. So what we are going to do, we build a harbor here, and when, then we start building our railways. As, ma as much as possible. Very good. And after we do that, uh, we try to reduce our pollution with this, this, and then we try to increase a little bit our stability, even if it's not necessary. But now we have a queue also in Lothar again. Trench warfare research. And the Swiss uh, is are offering a trade agreement. Let me see if I can trade with them. They have no luxury whatsoever. But the Swiss are, I think, free with one city. They are really <laughs> poor guys. They're doing very bad, but now Kerma has the... No, Kerma doesn't have all the buildings completed, sorry. Let me take more industry. This is good. More food. This is also good. And then all the signs. Okay, Mohino Daro now is going to build some railways as well. Good. Very good. Okay, Tikal, same thing. Look how, look how much uh, coal we have. And I completely forgot to work it out last time. to position my districts in a way that they will provide at least some um, stability bonus. Okay, we can get 5,000 influence like this out of the blue, which seems to me wonderful. And the oligarch Budica of the Brazilians entered the final era. Once any of the following has occurred, the empire with the most fame will be declared victor. So. If Boudicca picked the, the Brazilians, I, I need to speed up, but I should not be too much worried because Boudicca has only 10,700 victory points. We have 14,000 and we didn't enter yet in the next era. Um, what I want to do, I want to grab the next point. I just need two attacks. And after that, the text for the industrial era will be done and we can definitely enter in the contemporary era. So two turns and we're good. Perfect. 
Now we go in the new year with 14,400 <clears throat> and we can transcend, huh, the Cubans, the Nigerians, the Singaporeans, the Australians, the Chinese, the Egyptians, the Indians, the Japanese, the Swiss, the Turks, the Americans, the Soviets. I think I'm going to get, uh, I, I, I think I'm going to get Sweden because Sweden is so strong. Um, from a scientific perspective, I think that Sweden is the strongest culture of the contemporary era. And um, I, I like it. I, I like to I like to finish with Sweden. Look at this very nice flag, confirm. Not Swedish, as, as you might know, but I like it. So we go directly to the Research Institute and the Uranium Enrichment. Um, nuclear fission, that could be very, very useful. And then let's see. Okay. So Harappa now can build the Research Institute. Look at look how much science. 116. It's crazy. We are still for two turns in our special mode. Cool. We can also work the oil. And we have a fever season, we can quarantine or wait. Let's use the quarantine. We would need one extra territory to get one star there. How can I steal one territory? I uh, see that, okay, there are no, lo no other, unfortunately there are no other uh, civil states. I think, I, I think that I won't be able to do that, I'm afraid. So we research the, we, we, we have the research institute, which is great. Now what happens stopped translating all the production into research so we can build our special uh, buildings and we will probably discover all the technologies of this era. I think that's that's that should be that should be the goal. Let me see which wonder I can claim now. So uh, the Christ uh, Christ the Redeemer, the Maracana Stadium, which is also wonderful, or the Congress of Humankind, or the Sydney Opera House. Let's grab Sydney. Let's do it in Tikal. Close to the nature of wonder, it looks wonderful. All right. And before helping with the with the wonder, of course, I want to build all my special districts because um, my science with scale rocket. Fundamental values minus cost on a uh, commons quarter. <clears throat> okay, we have the uranium en enrichment, which means uh, more, per more science, but also uranium as a, as a resource. Let me see if I can get something here. No, it seems that my Constantinople, my city can help there. Let's let's grab all the signs that we can quickly and then just cool. One foot. So when I look at pollution I see that Budica of Brazil is polluting a lot, but we are actually trying to contain our pollution, um, building those kind of special uh, reserves, natural reserves. Um, okay. I think I can pay and get rid of this event, 20,000, I mean, I, I don't need them at this point in time. Actually, I could use them, but now what Appa will help. Uh, building the Sydney Opera House. 
And when we are done, I will use again this special uh, Collective Minds um, bonus. Good. What are our friends doing here? Actually, I think a lot of very bad wars have been going on. Look at this. Now Mogadishu is a new city-state. I try to establish contact and I'm going to give money and I'm going to give influence. I, I try to influence Mogadishu. Good, we can build now uh, the nuclear plants, but I think that I need to find uranium, which I am sure I have somewhere. And let's start the nuclear proliferation. Proliferation. Okay, which technology should now should we pick now? Honestly speaking, guys, I I believe that from now on uh, I just go straight to the end. Look how much tech. I mean, I, I, I have to research a lot of technology if I want to um, close the game with the reserves, but I see if we manage. So far, we produce 17k science. It, it was 8k at the beginning of this episode, and I was thinking, wow, that's so much. But now we really, we're really doing much better. Look at this. We are going to build our, um, our, our fission test here in Burusa, in this desert. And we have now 15,200 15, points in, and Budika has 11,200 points. She won't be able to get us. Okay, we can grab some aluminium here. Um, I have one uh, strategic resource in Burusa, one resource of uranium. So I think that I can be the nuclear power plant, but uh, it's giving me plus two industry per uranium, minus pollution. And uh, so in general, just plus seven industry here be easier to build for example a coal plant at the moment and then let's see all right uh, i believe that i would never be able to send my diplomats in mogadishu because londonia said no 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 <laughs> fine look at this we have just created um nuclear test and there are a lot of very nice and sweet uh, colored cars that are just driving through the nuclear fallout it, this is just this is just so sweet isn't it here Baghdad Baghdad can uh, grab more aluminium and more no, aluminium, yes, and also uranium. Oh god, four territories. Uh, not the train station, whatever. Four territories means like 600 science. <laughs> With this, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Let's go to my capital again, Rappa. Uh, now it, this is helping with the Sydney Pro House. I'm going to convert again the collective mind. So Constantinople will help with, with the Sydney Pro House now. And then we move to the next wonder. I 
I'm really curious to see with how much science I'm going to close this game. I, I don't know, but I'm sure that it's going to be a lot. And now we, we, have, we have unlocked our first scientific star, so we are doing quite well. Uh, we have the Congress of Humankind. To be honest with you guys, I don't care about this. As I said, I didn't play a very diplomatic game and I'm winning following a different strategy, so that's fine. Let's unlock the Maracanã Stadium. Let's play some Maradona football. Tikal could unlock the Maracanã, why not? <clears throat> and Rappa, my capital, can start building a fusion test. A fusion test is even uh, more ambitious. Let's try to close the Maracana and then we help the fusion test. But I have to remember that my capital city is not producing, right? Or are the 10 turns over? No, for 5 turns nothing is going to happen here, I think. Since I have a lot of money, I mean, I can just... Look at this army! <laughs> From pike and shot to modern infantry, like Call of Duty. And this gothic cavalry, uh, right, I thought that it would, uh, it would, it would turn in a, into a tank, but I think that I don't have enough uh, resources and technology yet to do that. Okay. Now we are producing 23,300 signs per turn. Okay, Kerma can uh, help with the stadium. I always throw an eye to the Hall of Fame because I'm kind of uh, afraid that Boudica can play some trick and uh, win some victory points and, and I don't notice that, that would be really, really, really bad. Okay, Harappa now has finished the special thing, so let's build our fusion test now. We need only four turns to do that. And then we will have new confusion. With the computers, we have even more reserves now, 22,000. Without our upper pushing, of course. And I want to show you this. Um, we are not far away from closing the game, researching all, all technologies. We are not far away at all. Even it thought uh, it looked so such a long way, but our scientific production it's really impressive. It's really impressive. Social housing has been researched. One of the scientists star has been earned, and now we can claim a new wonder, which will be the Christ. And we are going to put him on a mountain in Baghdad here. Perfect. Oh, look at this. It, it seems that I forgot some districts, right? Yeah, I, I did. And the Maracana starts. Uh, what can we give to the Maracana National Rally? Plus 10% influence. Not, not bad, not bad. Because I see that we have your uh, an aesthetic star almost there. All right, we, we are now famed for our second project. And Arapa can uh, do an ICBM test. For this kind of test, man, uh, we need a real, real, real big 
uh, territory, and I'm not that sure that I can uh, that I can afford it. You know, I think that I cannot afford something like this. Maybe, maybe uh, in the sea. Yeah, for example, look at this place here. There's no one would be hit. Okay, here there are some some farms, but uh, let's do the ICBM test. Okay. Hmm. Even if I'm super rich, it seems that upgrading a quadririm into a missile cruiser, <laughs> it's pricey. I, I wouldn't expect that. I wouldn't expect that. Why? Why? Rocket science reserves. All right. So, Tikal helped me with the wonder. Good. So in the next turn we will have an ICBM. Um, I, I have to check how can I build them then because I think that I will try to leave this uh, this game uh, with a little souvenir, if you know what I mean. Uh, space station. All right. No, I think I can do the space station now. Okay. Perfect. This is great. Let's build the space station here. We have it, right? We do have it, I guess. I want to build a missile silo. Um, and then... Yeah, good luck to me, I don't know. Some random stuff just to keep uh, our cities busy. Sorry for that, but okay, okay. Constantinople can still get some aluminium and maybe what i'm going to do also um is an airport or a couple of airports uh, let's see where i can where i can put them and then we are also using an aerodrome so we will be able to build our aircrafts okay let's end the turn And the race is on. So we beat the first space station. Interplanetary expedition are expensive, but I think that we can trigger the lunar lander very quickly now. Okay. I want to check now my uh, missile silos. Where, where did I place them? Wait, 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 wait. I think I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, this is a missile silo, for example. Let me see if I can build missiles. Yes, sir. Nuclear missile, thermonuclear, and cruise missile. Okay, let's build some thermonuclear missiles here in Mainadara. Are we already on the moon? 
Are we already on the moon? No, still two turns. I think I I I think I'm start I started building those those thermonuclear missiles uh, too late. I have this feeling because I'm not sure if I would be able to drop one of those. Okay, I, I claim the humankind congress, but I'm not going to build it. Obviously, we are we are not uh, winning with this type of victory. And now we can throw the Mars colony exactly. Let's see, that's the reason. And I never did the crepissage, that's bad. That's very bad, okay. Um, let's build the Mars colony, that can be also here. We just place it and now we give to all our cities profit. Uh, we, <laughs> we had an Elon Musk moment. Uh, we tell all our cities to focus and build this uh, because once the Mars colony will be done, the game will be over. And I played 31 minutes now, so the episode should really finish here, but we are also going to finish the game. And guys, I really hope that you enjoyed. I probably didn't play like a pro, uh, I tried just to have some fun and explain you what I, what the decisions that I have been taking and why. So I really hope that you that you enjoyed. And in that case, please just, just consider leaving me a comment you can give me some tips. Though humankind's you can just suggesting me how, how what should I do next does. time? Which game should I do? Or if you want to stick to humankind, which other strategy should I try? All right, we have the renewable energies, and yep, an merchant star. So now we are flying with seventeen thousand six hundred points, and we are launching the mission to Mars. <clears throat> As always, I'm going to keep my cities busy for a while. And now the red planet gives us the possibility, the opportunity to click on end and finish, finish this uh, wonderful adventure. Let's click the last turn, this is turn 239. And this is the end of the journey. We end the journey uh, landing on Mars, we still had some uh, more research to do, like the mass entertainment, you see, we, we wouldn't be able to play humankind, but we are already on Mars. And all our, all our, Friends are done. Let's end the game. I want to see some statistics. We end the game with 18k. And we are on the first position. Yeah. I think the next time, if you agree, I will try to play uh, with humankind difficulty. Because I, I have the feeling that if you do that, then you have the real challenge, the real experience. But even playing on civilization difficulty level, which is really hard, that gave me some. Good vibes and, and a lot of fun. Look at our city. Look at our cities. They're, they're just beautiful, huh? The Sydney Opera House here. Wonderful. Wonderful, guys. I don't want to close yet because I just want to see... Um, okay, my biggest, my biggest point, my best era was the industrial era as France. I, I wasn't aware about that. Look at Babylonians, Boudicca at 3,551 points. It's, it's Babylonian, so I thought that I did better than her in the beginning. But let's see how many points they get. So, when I started as a Rappans, I, I grabbed three deeds, I lost a bunch of stars, but only 3,103 points. Yep. So, it's in the classical ages uh, that I, I get better to 5,041. No, 6,041. 6, Look how many stars I grabbed. And with the Teutons, I also had two deeds. Uh, natural wonders and uh, oh yeah sure we found the new world our ticket to victory 
Actually, actually finding the new world uh, is really, really powerful. So, in the early model, uh, we got also two deeds, and then the industrial was the best. Cost to cost, let there be light, uh, pressing matters. We researched so much, and we have done so many points. And the contemporary year was just the cherry on the cake. I think that we did nothing special here with Sweden. We just capitalized everything. Very good. Let's let's go now to our our review recap. As you can see here with France in industrial year, we had the lower um, increase, so the curve stopped here and became a little bit more regular. But we had such a difference, such a such a difference between us and Budika that she never managed to catch up. And we won more or less here when we killed off the yellow, I guess. And then we had a moment where we didn't do very well, but then uh, always jumping time by time and add some innovation, improvement. It worked quite fine. Now we control 29 territories. We built 325 districts. We won 22 battles and killed 71 units. Our best city is Buruza in the New World. Uh, I think that we have a lot of wonders there. The longest war was against uh, Valinong Sari, the yellow. And we found 38 curiosities and the longest ideology was collectivism. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In that case, please leave a comment and a thumbs up and we'll see each other next time.